Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'd like to thank you, David and Isa, for the invitation uh, to come here and uh, share uh, some of my experience with international business. Um, uh, what we do, what my firm does, is basically facilitate international business. Uh, but doing so, we are in uh, contact with uh, a lot of entrepreneurs and investors. Um, they have a lot of ideas, they have a lot of projects, they uh, carry out those projects and they do so in very different ways. And um, when they do want to invest or have uh, business ventures in emerging markets, such as uh, Africa and Nigeria, among other countries, uh, then of course we come across very different paths and very different choices. And then we see the outcome of those. Uh, and by sharing those experiences with you, I think that uh, you can have a better insight as we have come to have um, on what can be done also to improve relationships probably uh, between Europe and uh, uh, Nigerians and uh, African countries. Also forget speculation. Uh, one of the main things that we see is that if you don't know an investment, if you don't know a country, if you don't know an opportunity, you just think it's very risky so what I, I'll do it but if I get 1000% at the end of the first year. That's called speculation and that's not what should be done in a country. It is not first of all not good for the country itself, it is not good for the business because 99% of them will get burnt and come out and come back and say there is no opportunity there, everything is already taken or uh, it's not easy to do, to do business. Because what they were expecting is too much or too much of what the input was. Sometime, uh, what I've seen anyway, uh, investments or investors going to different countries, for example Africa, I've been living in Africa myself for one year, to go there and say, this is my way of doing it, I bring in the money, if you want it, that's the way you need to do and behave. Uh, and uh, sometimes it works, but man, most of the time it doesn't, at least not in the long run. And again, people get burned, because when you think that only money will get you the thing you want, that's not the way it works. To use the right tools and platforms. Um, this is a, uh, of course, something that Luxembourg knows very well because Luxembourg is a platform for international business. Uh, if you don't know already, uh, you should know by now, especially if you live here, uh, Luxembourg has started in this business uh, long before my uh, father and mother were even born and my grandmother was a teenager in the 1920s. They started facilitating international business, uh, holding 20 nights, maybe rings a bell for some of you here. It was 1929. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it means that um, if you want to connect two uh, countries, two businesses, two investors that have never done business together, um, they will have a lot of problem, a lot of problems, a lot of problems. Uh, again, they will probably ask the, the wrong question, get the wrong answer, and be burned and never do business uh, again with, for example, emerging markets in Africa. Those who are ready in Nigeria, for example, to uh, get near Europe, maybe help the European, uh, among others, anyway, near here, so we'll talk about European, to make the first step. Why not be yourself, for example, here, maybe cooperate again with the Nigeria Business Forum, to make sure that is, you know, the first step of those who want to invest and cooperate is not the plane to Lagos, but it's actually the train to Luxembourg, for example. And that's a suggestion that I give to you. The second one is again to work with the translator. Okay, there, I use it there actually. Uh, and I think that uh, the business forum, the Nigerian business forum can be one, but uh, also the Chamber of Commerce can be another one. Anything that can help people translate their question, I think is the most important thing. Thank you.